OK. So we're going to print a nutrition and exercise log from MyFitnessPal. And as you can see, I am already logged in. It says my name up here. I am on the Food tab and the Food Diary tab. Now, even if you use like an iPhone app or whatever to collect your food diary, if you log into the website using a computer, you can print this report. You have to scroll down to the bottom of the food diary and you see this orange button that says view full report. You click on that and you just choo simply choose some dates. I'm going to do August 30th because that's when my log started uh, and stop September 2nd because that is a Sunday. Now food diary, food notes, if you ever put in any notes about a certain day you can include those that way your personal trainer can laugh at you. <laughs> and then exercise diary and any exercise notes. So I'm going to click this this green button that says change report. It, it, it's a weird name for the report, but that's what you're doing. You're essentially changing the parameters that the report is going to display. So I click that. And now I have broken down by day all of the foods that I put in my diary, all of their calorie, carb, fat, protein, etc. Uh, content, and then a total for all of them at the bottom of the day. Okay? So August 31st, I also have some here, scrolling down. I also have exercises in here, because I had actually worked out that day. I did some uh, strength training with my personal trainer. I feel I personally did a heck of a lot more than 340 calories that I burned there, but, you know, that's what the system put in there for me. Um, I'm, I, again, I, I don't believe them. <laughs> um, you scroll down, I got September 1st here, and I got some food notes from September 1st. Those are also in here. So this is a good report for a personal trainer to look at if you're sending that to them. Um, if you're using a Windows computer, then you can print it as a PDF file. If you don't have a way to do that, simply go to Google and search for Nitro PDF Reader. If you install that software, it will give you an option to print to a Nitro PDF creator. So if you look, it's one of my options here. I'm just going to select that and click OK. The only thing you might want to do before you save that is put in the dates that you did that for. So that way you kind of know, oh, I did that for 0830 to 0902. And then I'm going to click Save. Now I have a PDF file that um, I'm going to be able to email to my uh, personal trainer. And here it is. Uh, this one happens to be three pages. And then they can, you know, I mean, it's not as good as a spreadsheet, say, but I think this is the information that your PT needs. All right. So uh, if you're using a Mac, uh, I think you can simply save a web page as a PDF file or printing as a PDF file is already an option in Mac. Just do a quick search if you're not uh, sure how to do that. Thank you.